What is up everybody? Patrick back with another video. And today I'm going to teach you how to get rid of all of your bug problems without an exterminator. Now this is very important because what most people don't realize until they have a bed bug infestation or an ant infestation or fleas and ticks that they don't know how to get rid of, roaches, scorpions, you name it. If it crawls, I'm going to give you the information today to get rid of it. So it's actually a long and a complicated mess as to why bed bugs have made a resurgence in the last 20 years or so. And I'm not going to get into all the reasons, but I am going to say that exterminators are by and large ripping people off, okay? And I've even seen nowadays uh, these professional exterminator companies, they try to get people on a monthly plan, all right? They're trying to get you to pay a subscription fee to be bug free. What a sham deal, okay? The solution I'm gonna talk about today is so incredibly cheap, it is literally dirt cheap, all right? And the solution is diatomaceous earth. Maybe you've heard of it before, maybe you haven't. Okay, don't worry, you're gonna learn all about it today. Now diatomaceous earth is merely the fossilized skeletons of microscopic algae that settles at the bottom of freshwater lakes and the ocean all right and some companies mine this material and you'll see it sometimes i've seen it i've seen natural deposits uh at lake mead in the outskirts of uh, las vegas nevada so you can't see it it's a white powdery chalky type dirt substance. Now the reason why it kills all bugs and actually it's so safe that people eat it, okay? You can eat it and yet it still kills just about all bugs that crawl. The reason why is because it's very sharp at a microscopic level. So the bugs crawl through it and it pierces their exoskeleton and causes them to drain all of their fluids, dehydrate and die. Now there's different kinds of diatomaceous earth, okay? There is pesticide grade, which has to be approved by the EPA or uh, your country's environmental oversight agency equivalent. Um, there is food grade diatomaceous earth. And the food grade diatomaceous earth actually a small amount goes into America's feed supply for the livestock. Some people sprinkle it around uh, their chicken coops and hens if you have uh, chickens. Don't laugh because people with chickens are going to be laughing at you if the economy crashes. But um, some people, some humans actually eat it. So you're actually eating it through the, the food supply already, but eating it directly, some humans do the food grade diatomaceous earth. And they do that because it can kill internal parasites in your gut, you know, like stomach parasites, which a lot of people have, unfortunately. So they eat it uh, for, you know, to improve gut health because the scientists have found a connection between gut health and overall health as well as mental health. Um, People eat diatomaceous earth, the food grade kind, uh, for improved skin, uh, hair, and nails. And so there's a lot of benefits, all right? But the reason why you may not even know about this is because diatomaceous earth, to get in the game, to start your own diatomaceous earth pesticide business costs somewhere around a quarter million dollars. So how many people have that laying around to start a diatomaceous earth business? And this explains why most of the big diatomaceous earth companies that sell a pesticide grade version of it in America are close to 100 years old each. I'm talking about Permagard. I believe they were officially founded in 1932. I'm talking about P.F. Harris. Uh, they've been around almost 100 years. J.T. Eaton, another one that's been around forever. All right, and these companies formed before there was a thing called the internet. They formed before people even really had telephones or television. 
all right? So this is why you probably don't know about this, because these, these companies have been passed down throughout the years to their, the family heirs, all right? Such a massive oligarchy. And the EPA has made it illegal for uh, companies to sell food-grade diatomaceous earth as a pesticide. And so you have all of this unnecessary, harmful oversaturation of society with chemicals, chemical pesticides, unnatural compounds, when there is literally a solution so safe you can eat that kills all bugs quickly. And I have videos of this because I've done experiments. And I was actually uh, planning to launch my own, and then I ran into the uh, prohibitive costs spoke to some lawyers in Washington DC and they gave me the rundown and so right now I have a electronic guide for 20 bucks which you can purchase and it has links to videos where I've done my experiments and proven how I literally bought bed bugs off the internet and then uh, did an experiment to see if it works I've used it uh, before the food grade on ants massive massive infestation of ants. I have the video and then I, I explain it all in my guide. But regardless, you don't have to buy my guide. I'll put a link below, but if you spend time looking on the internet or reading the the label on these products, you probably figure out how to use it. So what they did was they made uh, a very common and powerful pesticide called DDT illegal. Um, I want to say 40 years ago, and it was done worldwide because it had too many side effects. But the government and these monopolies, and by the way, I have applied to five different North American companies, four in America, one in Canada, to private label their diatomaceous earth pesticide grade food, uh, excuse me, pesticide grade diatomaceous earth products so I can sell it under my own brand name, and they have all turned me down. And it was really, really disappointing because I went to these people and I said, look, I have internet traffic. Anybody who's been watching my channel knows that I have online ventures. I'm pretty good at getting traffic to websites and writing articles about websites, doing videos that help people, how-to videos. That's the basis of my entire YouTube channel, really. Um, and they all turned me down. And it's like, is this, is this really America? Is this the free market system? It's like, I am, I'm offering to give you money for a bulk order, which you offer <laughs> as an option on your website and your company does. I'm super enthusiastic. I'm super motivated to get this going. I'm telling you, here's, I show people the, the stats. Like, here's the traffic on the web. Here's the people looking just to get rid of bed bugs every month. And they all turned me down. They all ignored me, said not interested. So they're operating from a place of, of absolute, uh, you know, scarcity. Scars I can't say that word. <laughs> scarcity. They believe in a finite world, and I do not. And so how did I, how did I come upon this discovery of diatomaceous earth? I was 34 years old, college educated. Um, I was doing a web search looking for affiliate products to promote and I found this product called Bedroom Guardian. It was promised to get rid of bed bugs. So I bought it myself and I got this tiny little container filled with white dirt dust, kind of like a chalky dirt. And I was like, what the hell is this stuff? So I did a, a web search and I started doing some research and I figured out, okay, oh, people are saying this is diatomaceous earth. So I did more research. And I was like, this stuff is amazing. It's great. Um, of course, Bedroom Guardian was selling it without a pesticide license from Hong Kong um, using a business, uh, a remote business from Wyoming. And here's the thing. They were charging people a monthly, monthly prescription for four ounces of diatomaceous earth, auto, auto build and auto shipped every month to people for $30 a month, or it was something like anywhere from $20 to $30 a month for this tiny little container, and each container costs $20 to $30. So they were making a ton of money. 
but they were doing it on the backs of poor, low education people who were likely on government assistance. And so I figured that it was time for me to do something about it. So I sent them emails basically saying, look, if you guys don't change your act, um, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the EPA and the FBI know what you're doing. And they eventually stopped selling. So I'm not trying to brag, but I am responsible for shutting down a company that was taking advantage of poor, low income, low literacy, low education people who were just trying to get rid of their bed bug problem. And anyone who's ever had a bed bug problem, thankfully I have not, knows just how horrific it is, you know, not being able to sleep at night. You have to be able to sleep, you have to be able to go to sleep at night and wake up um, energized and refreshed. You have to have that REM sleep so that your body heals uh, physically and emotionally, spiritually as well. And so, this is the problem, okay? And it's the tale of two cities economy. You have the heirs of companies who, by virtue of being sperm and eggs, have inherited, uh, you know, potentially multi-million dollar businesses who refuse to let upstarts like me help more people and market their product and buy in bulk so they'd still be making money and then sell to people who are low income, low literacy, low education and make a difference and help people and keep people from ruining their credit and ending up on the street homeless. And they all refused. They all said no. Four American companies, one Canadian company. So, if you're interested in using diatomaceous earth because it works on just about every crawling insect problem, you can either keep searching the web for instructions, keep searching YouTube for video on how to use it, or you can buy my $20 guide. I'll put the link below and it has links within the guide. It's a short guide, about six pages, with links to um, some videos that prove it works and also gives you links to the best, cheapest types of products, which are pesticide grade, which, um, you know, pesticide grade is a good thing if you're using diatomaceous earth to kill bugs because it's supposed to be of a different consistency, making it less likely to become airborne. Because while it's very safe, and the food grade is safe enough to eat, uh, it still is highly susceptible to becoming airborne and you're not supposed to breathe it or breathe a lot of it. I've eaten it on 15 different occasions, uh, but one time I kind of spoofed trying to de demonstrate it to somebody <laughs> and uh, I swear I almost died because I, I, I did inhale quite a bit of it and I felt like I was drowning. So that was not a pleasant experience, but I'm still here today and I'm not that messed up. So, um, here's my two cents for you. Well, thanks for watching this video. I sincerely hope that you will protect you and your family's health, avoid harmful chemicals, avoid debt traps, avoid uh, credit destructive um, platforms and conventions out there and the oligarchy known as the Western economic system. And uh, avoid getting ripped off by the sleazy, slimy exterminators who just want to rip you off and collect money from you every month and give you some half-assed excuse as to why the bugs are still coming back. You can literally apply diatomaceous earth to problem areas and leave it down forever. And as long as it stays dry, it will remain effective forever. So, it's a very amazing product. It's amazing what God has created here on earth that even microscopic algae which have an important job while they're alive, have an important job even in their death. So, I hope you like this video. If you do like it, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe, all that silly stuff. Um, if you want to check out the guide, I'll put a link below. If this information has helped you save hundreds or thousands of dollars on a insect infestation, a pest control problem in your home, Consider leaving me a small donation through my Patreon link. I'll put that below as well. And I wish you and your family the best. Keep it natural. Keep it gangsta. And um, keep on keeping on.